Hey everybody, happy Friday. It's time for Facebook Friday. I'm having a little bit of a technology issue. I went, I remembered to check my blog post right before we went live and it's not up. So I'm gonna go over there and see why it's not up while we wait for you guys to jump on. Let's see. Well, it says, maybe I just didn't give it enough time. Let's try that again. I hope you guys have had a good week. It's been a very busy, oh, there it is. It's been a very busy week here. We had a uh, sickness in the family, so there was some concern there. Everything is good, you know, everything worked out. We're all okay, everybody's okay. Um, you know, just the craziness of school and all that, but the weather's beautiful, that's, that's, a, that's a plus. Hi guys, I see you jumping on, good. Okay, let me go over on my iPad and see if I can see comments better over there. Okay, hello, hello, hello. Fiona, yes, yes, we are feeling better. It wasn't me who was sick, it was other people in the family. And I'm just, you know, <laughs> hoping it's not me. <laughs> you know, time is ticking. Um, today we're gonna use the Adorable Owls. I'm sure a lot of you have already gotten this stamp set. It is a free choice in the Celebration Catalog. And I have been kind of, um, watching what you guys are picking when you're ordering and majority of orders well i would say the largest majority of is the adorable owl so it's right here on page four of the celebration catalog that means he's free with a 50 dollars purchase now we're also going to be using the dandy designs paper in the back which is free with a hundred dollar order um it is 12 by 12 and it's a big stack of paper. So it's a really good one. It's a really, really good one. So sometimes I know people are like, ah, I wanna get two $50 things instead of one $100 thing, but this one is really good. Things that are level two, like this paper, is worth more than a level one. Does that make sense? Anyway, it's very good. If you don't have it, I highly encourage you to get it. Okay, I'm just gonna run through a few things. Um, the all-star tutorial bundle as i was pulling everything out today i realized i haven't sent this out to people who have ordered so i'm going to set it on my computer and do it when we're done i'm going to do it this afternoon you can earn this for free by spending 50 dollars with me online um or you can buy it in my pdf store for 15 dollars, or you can subscribe january and july are the only months we open it up to subscriptions um the reason why you might want to subscribe to it is if maybe you don't shop with me maybe you have a demonstrator that you shop with or you are a demonstrator but you'd really like to get this you can subscribe and it's 15 dollars, and then the sixth month is free so you pay either up front for five of them or you pay monthly for you know 15 dollars for five months and then this one is free on the sixth month Inside are tutorials, 12 tutorials featuring the Fancy Floral fancy flora Suite from the Spring Catalog. Each month we'll have a different suite that we're featuring. It's from this catalog. And then, um, so there's 12 of us, we all do something different. They're all videos. Um, there's measurements in Imperial and Metric. Um, let me think, what else? It's a really, really nice, big, fat, juicy PDF. So if you like PDFs, if you like tutorials, these are all exclusive projects. Um, if you want more details on that, if you go to my blog, scroll down a little bit. We did a blog hop a few days back and you can kind of read through the details. There's also a subscription link there. There's a link to just buying the single one in my PDF store. My project this month is a little um, double hinged gift box. Most of the projects are cards but I would say maybe two or three each month is a 3D, give or take. I always try to do a 3D just to be different so that there's at least one 3D in there. Um, but that's that, that's, that's there for you. Now here's where things get confusing. I hate when this happens. So we decide that we're gonna use Fancy Flora as our all-star tutorial PDF, right? So that's that thing I just told you about. Well, then I decided to use Fancy Flora for Club Create in February. <laughs> so I have that 
ready for you to see as well. Club Create is a kit that's delivered to your mailbox. And these projects are completely different from that PDF that I just showed you. These are six projects um, that come, let me see if I can pick them all up and show you. They come in a kit. Um, this, so that is just tutorials. This is kits. This is a kit of five projects, video and PDF, completely different from that. See how it gets confusing when we use the same thing for both? I, I know I try to make it not do that, but it happens. <laughs> um, this is, so this is a subscription, $39 a month that includes about $20 in product. You'll get um, DSP, embellishments, um, your kit, I mean, your make and takes. Um, and then if you stay, if you subscribe for six months, on the sixth month, you get a $25 product bonus. So I just say, hey, what do you want for $25? And you email me, fill out the form, and then I include it in your sixth kit. All right? So two things, two different things featuring the same suite of products. If you're confused, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just scroll down today's the bottom of today's blog post and click on the individual things. One thing I want to caution you, my PDF people, I have people who are love to buy my PDFs and I love you guys so much. Be careful because now there's two Fancy Flora PDFs. There's the Fancy Flora All-Star Tutorial PDF, the one, the first one I showed you, and then the Fancy Flora Club Create PDF, which is the one that goes along with a kit. So make sure that you pay attention, PDF people. <laughs> and get the right one that you want okay okay so the subscription is open you guys can see behind me i am working on january's club create um i'm almost done packing them up and hoping to get them out probably tuesday um which is several days early i like to get them out early um but this will be february's kit if you're interested in the fancy flora kit for february um, subscriptions are open. I have spots. So I'm going to go over there on my Club Create page and add that link. But if I don't, and if I forget, just email me and let me know and I will send you that link. Okay. I was going to show you guys my, oh, here it is. My cute little adorable baby cut and emboss machine. It's very cute. This is part of celebration. This is the starter kit special. A starter kit is always $99 and you get $125 in product throughout the year. But during celebration, you have three options. And one of them is to get this machine included. And it's the kit is, well, let me look at my notes so I don't tell you the wrong thing. I almost did. $129. You get this and $175 in product of your choice from annual catalog, mini catalog, um, spring catalog, or clearance rack. Um, and free shipping. So that is an awesome deal. Uh, there's also the option to get the white mini uh, machine if you don't like the blue, or you can get just the $175 in product for 99. Maybe you already have one and you're like, I don't need another one. Um, that option is there for you. Um, I have a join tab at the top of my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com. You can click that, read the details. Let me know if you have questions. I'm happy to answer. Um, when you buy the starter kit, you become part of my team. There's never any pressure to do anything that you don't wanna do. If you wanna just buy from yourself and be your own customer, totally fine. Most people do that. If you wanna try to maybe sell a little bit, I can help you do that. Either way, so don't ever feel like I'm gonna pressure you to do anything. Um, it's a fabulous deal and I want everybody to know about it. Okay, <laughs> check, I talked about that. Um, my paper share, um, I'm going to start working on that soon. i got something else really big in between that, this and that. But um, if you want a, either a quarter sheet or a half a sheet of all the new designer series paper in the spring catalog, I've got you. I've got you what you need. Um, this is called a paper share. So you can find the details. Again, bottom of today's blog post. Um, check it out. That closes on the 20th, which is next Friday. Today's Friday the 13th. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize it. Oh, that's not good. What's going to happen? <laughs> Something, I don't know. Um, okay, so let's talk about the Taco Fiesta class, you guys. Y'all are amazing because you basically doubled my highest level. My How do I word this? My record level class. So whatever class I had the most registrations on, you guys doubled it. So like, Oh my God. So I had to um, 
close registration for the Taco Fiesta class to go. I had to close it because I'm a human <laughs> and I can only do so much. This class has 17 die cuts per kit. So it's gonna take me and Denise, who is working feverishly for me behind the scenes, a lot of time to get ready for these kits. So if you missed it and you want the Taco Fiesta class kit, I'm gonna open it again next month, okay? We just need to get through these because I don't want to take so many that I can't get them done in the time frame that I've told you. Um, I hate if I ever ship something late, it like gives me major anxiety. So I am, um, there's Denise, you guys tell Denise thank you. She is working that die cut machine like a, like a, mach like a machine herself. She's amazing helping me get ready for this class. Um, but the Taco Fiesta class will reopen in February if you missed it. The PDF and video are available in my PDF store if you just want that option too. All right, I started autographing stamp sets last night and my daughter came down and she was like, what are you doing? I said, I'm autographing stamp sets. She was like, oh my God, you're famous. <laughs> Not really. That's it was just funny when they say things like that. But the kit, if you choose the stamp set that I design, I will sign it for you. It feels weird. I felt like an author signing books. It was really exciting. Okay, I think we're ready. Um, let me flip you guys around and I will tell you what we're gonna do. Let's see. So you guys always tell you that I don't use the fancy um, software, right? I always tell you guys that. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna do something. But my friend Ange, she's been helping me this week. Try to get the fancy software. Why won't it let me zoom in? Oh, there we go. Um, the problem was I was getting a really bad echo and I would spend like an hour or two on it. That feels like it's really zoomed in. And then I would just get frustrated and forget it. So we, she helped me this week and I think we got it. So maybe next week, if I'm brave enough, we might try the fancy software to where I don't have to do this with my phone. Okay, hold on. Let's see. I want to zoom in because we're going to be coloring. All right. All right. Let's see. How are we? I think we're good. Okay. So stay tuned. You can, you can in fact, teach an old dog new tricks, apparently. <laughs> All right, so this is Facebook Friday. If you've never joined me for Facebook Friday before, welcome. So glad you're here. Every Friday I go live at two o'clock central with three projects featuring one stamp set or bundle. Um, is the camera, yeah, okay, let me turn my fan down. Um, so this week is the Adorable Owls. And if you go over to pinkbuckaroo.com, you'll see the blog post about these three projects. Um, under each photo, there's also a individual recording. I pre-record all of them for those people who don't wanna watch a Facebook Live, or if you wanna come back and watch something, it'll be easier to find. Um, there, and then you scroll down under the last photo, there's a little square that says, click here for the free PDF. And you can get this for yourself for free. It has all the supplies I use and the measurements, and then those things that I talked about as well. Um, the other part of Facebook Friday is if you like these projects, this, this is like a little class, and the class is free with an order. So if you put in an online order between now and Monday at midnight, and you use this host code, I will send you the make and takes. They come, they look like this. All right, you will need the stamps. I don't do any stamping, that's against the rules, but I will do, you know, like some die cutting or scoring or whatever for you. I'll include embellishment, ribbon, um, and then you can do it yourself. And I know you guys, a lot of you already have the Adorable Owls. You can order anything you want. It doesn't have to be the Adorable Owls. It could be whatever, but you will need the Adorable Owls. And, and my projects today also feature a couple of other stamp sets. Um, mostly sentiment stamps um, that you could easily substitute as well. Just know that I don't send any stamping. Okay, let me let me uh, make some room, and we will get started with our first project. My amazing housekeeper is here today. She usually comes on Tuesday, and um, I always wonder, like, what does she think when she hears me in here talking? It always makes me feel weird to do it alive when someone is here. <laughs> it just feels very weird. All right, let me let me get organized. Hold on, is this what we're doing first? Yes, 
Okay, I don't know why these are here. We don't need those, we need these. Okay, here we go. Our first card is gonna feature our cute little owl and we're gonna just make a little, like a nighttime scene for him. And I'm also using um, the best family ever. This stamp set comes with three sentiments, but I just wanted to use my new stamp, so I pulled out some of my new sentiment stamps. This is a fantastic stamp set. You can really personalize your projects for whatever it is that you need. Um, I'm gonna use happy birthday friend, but there's congratulations, wonderful, all that, but then there's grandma, grandpa, niece. I, I, I think that's really cool. And then I'm gonna use the greatest journey, just the little stars as well. All right, let's see, what do we have? Balmy blue, now this color, the reason I chose balmy blue is because I'm using this Dandy Designs designer series paper. Um, have you guys gotten that paper yet? It's amazing. It's very cute. It's all geometric. Mac, you don't need to come in here. Go. He, he never wants to come in here unless I've shut the door. And then he's like, what's happening? Why aren't you letting me in? Um, all geometric patterns, this Dandy Designs paper. And it, um, is in really fun colors. So here it is right here on page 14. See that all 12 by 12, it's a huge stack. So cute. All right, so that's why I am using Balmy Blue. And I need grid paper, let me pull that out. Okay, we're gonna just make a little bit of a dark circle where we want him. And I'm using my blending brush and Balmy Blue. I like to run it off on the grid paper first so that when I set it down on my paper, I don't get that hard you know, that hard little smudge. And I'm gonna have to layer it on. I think my Balmy Blue ink pad is low because it is taking me more than, than the last time to do it. All right, just a little bit more. And okay, we'll leave it right there. Now I'm gonna take my little stars and I'm gonna stamp them also in balmy blue like that and then i have cut out you know what before i do that let's do the embossing we're going to save the owl for the last for the end um we're going to emboss this you know what because my my pad needs to be re-inked so let's use let's use versamark okay now one thing if you're worried about getting them straight, oh, hello, I brought it over and didn't use it. This is the embossing buddy, and you wanna rub it really good to hopefully remove any static that will hold onto the crystals in places we don't want them. So I'm gonna, t I'm gonna stamp friend, and then right on top of it, I'm gonna stamp happy birthday. Happy birthday, friend. Um, usually I use my craft white ink, but it's like I need to re-ink it. That pad has a hard time staying inked evenly because that ink is very different than our other ink. Look, I have dimensional backings and <laughs> what's that? I have like crumbs in my embossing powder. That's not good. That's embarrassing. All right, so sprinkle your powder on there and we'll get our heat tool. I can't see anybody's comments. I don't know what is happening. Oh, there we go. Hello, how's the weather where you guys are? You know, I always wanna talk about the weather. We had gross warm weather here, like muggy and like 79, just yucky. And then we had a cold front come through and it's been beautiful. It's been like sunny and like 64, like perfect, just beautiful. I know that there were some awful storms over in where like Mississippi and well I don't need that and I think I need this hold on hold 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 so hopefully none of you were in any of that that is very scary and it's very bizarre to have tornadoes this time of year so weird it seems like we're having tornadoes now 12 months a year doesn't seem like there's a tornado season anymore all right now this little branch I've cut from soft suede 
and it's from the Aspen Tree Dies, which were in the holiday catalog right here, and they're carrying over, so they'll be in the next annual catalog. Thought that was perfect for our little owl. Um, okay, speaking of our little owl, let's stamp him. All right, um, now Patricia, you're in Georgia. Did you have that scary weather? I was thinking that was the area. Where's my verse mark? Here it is. And you just said it was gonna snow? Snow this after, oh my gosh. Are you in Northern Georgia? I lived in Savannah for a year. My husband was stationed there and it was his last year of service and our first year of marriage. And so I have very fond memories of Savannah, Georgia. It was really Hinesville, which is a military town, but outside of Savannah. Cool and windy, 33 degrees here. Oh, Carol, Michigan's weather is a little, ugh, right? This is a little hard to, to handle in the summer. I mean, in the winter, but in the summer, it's very nice. All right, I'm going to take my light soft suede, and I'm going to color this cute little owl first with light. And you want to be really careful as you go around his eyes not to get any of that ink there in his the white parts of his eyes, okay? And there are three cute little owls in this set. For some reason I can't talk and color at the same time. This guy has a bow tie, so he's like fancy. He's dressed up for the evening. All right, now I'm gonna do the right, right below his bow tie little belly. Now remember, if you guys want to see how I color a little bit closer with a little more detail, um, my recordings that I do, what I call clean recordings, um, those are ones that I can, you know, um, edit and zoom in. So those are over on my YouTube channel. Hopefully they went up when they were scheduled to go up at two o'clock. These guys are pretty easy. I'm not going to do a whole lot of shading, but I have seen some amazing things online that people are adding all kinds of little details to their owls. So if you're looking for ideas, definitely just search adorable owls and you will find some amazing ideas. All right. So last weekend, you guys, I told you we were going to clean out the garage, right? And we did. And it wasn't fun, but boy, was it awesome afterwards. And so we're so inspired that we're going to do more cleaning out this weekend. Another fun weekend at the Sirwin house. We got a bagster. Have you guys ever heard of this? It is a dumpster bag that you fill and then like your garbage company comes and they bring that big claw and they pick it up and they put it in their dumpster. And it's like the best thing ever. Like you wanna fill it as full as you can. Very motivating. <laughs> very motivating. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to, we're going to continue the purge. Hopefully that will make moving a little less painful in the summer. All right. Now I chose balmy blue for his eyes since we are using balmy blue. And one thing I didn't like is that when I colored his eyes, oh my gosh, hold on. I'm just looking. Carol says, I'm in Kentucky, had a small earthquake and a tornado yesterday in the snow floor state. Okay, Carol, you need to move. That is not fair. Nobody should get all of that in a 24-hour period. A small earthquake. Do you guys normally, wait, where did you say you were in Kentucky? Are you, do you guys normally get earthquakes there? Um, I am using my basic black stamp and write marker to add black to his pupils because I felt like after I colored it, they kind of faded away and they weren't real bright. So I think when you take that black marker and do that, it, I don't know, it just makes them pop a little bit. And then add some Wink of Stella to his little, the blue parts of his eyes. And now he's real cute. Um, pods, Nancy, yes, we have pods. But we're only moving like three miles away and we're not going to sell our house first. So we're going to get, we're going to be able to move out and then sell the house. So hopefully we won't need pods, but yeah, it is a good idea because my husband did say yesterday, you know, we could start packing. And I looked at him and I said, 
pack what? Like what, what can we pack five months out, six months out? And where are we going to put it? And he was like, well, winter stuff. And I said, it's still winter. And he was like, well, when winter's over, <laughs> I'm like, well, okay. April, May. Yes. Ugh, I don't look forward to it. Moving, packing makes me almost made me say, no, I don't want to, I don't want a new house. I don't want to do, I don't want to go through that. And ugh, I don't know. It'll be worth it. Hopefully. All right. So you're going to have to take your, your paper snips and go around the outside. Now, here's the deal. He's, he's white. He's got a white edge, right? Cause we stayed on the outside of the black line and I don't like how that looks like that. So I'm just going to take my crumb cake marker and I'm just going to go around the edge. It's light enough that you're not going to lose the detail in that black line. I'm coloring the inside of his ears too. Um, but it's going to lose that white edge and it's just going to blend in with that soft suede. All right. And it'll hide any of your cuts that you don't like. Okay. Now, hold on. I got to come back and read. Um, Carla, the new house is coming. It is coming along slowly, but surely, you know how it goes right now, you know, so HVAC is in plumbing is in and we're waiting on, um, the electrical to go in, put him on with dimensionals, you guys. And the shingles are there, but they're just all piled up on top of the house. They've been like that for days. So <laughs> some point they'll finish the roof. All the windows came in. We have arched windows in the front, which is really exciting. And they put the doors in, which is exciting. So our back door has a doggy door. And so we were like, okay, this is our house. There it is, the doggy door. <laughs> Um, we had to specially, you know, request a door with a doggy door. All right. Before I put this on, let's go back to that designer series paper. Um, I cut it. Usually I cut my DSP four by five and a fourth so that for one, you get more pieces out of a 12 by 12 piece if you do that. And it gives you a little border around, but I have a lot of this paper because it's free. So I cut it four and a fourth by five and a half. We're gonna cover up the whole front of the card. I'm living wild, I'm cutting it five, the full card front size. <laughs> All right, and then we're just gonna put that right there. Okay. Um, one last thing I'm gonna do is, if I can find them, I'm gonna add some iridescent rhinestones. Selma, Alabama. Yeah, Deb, that's the one I just heard on the news. So far, seven deaths. God, that's awful. So sad. So, so sad. Um, tornadoes scare me. I have a reoccurring nightmare um, about tornadoes. I have seen two tornadoes in my life. One, I was in college driving back to school. And this is before phones and everything. And I was listening to a tape. So I wasn't listening to the radio. And all of a sudden I went over this hill and there was a giant tornado. Um, turned around, went back to the next town. But it ended up being an F5. Killed tons of people. Not tons, but I don't know. It was like 17, I think. Which is a ton. Um, and so it traumatized me. I was fine. But at the time it wasn't. <laughs> okay, you guys. There we go. Isn't that cute? So yeah, that little coloring trick. I'm glad you like that. That's just something that I do when I'm annoyed with the white edge. I'm like, yeah, I don't want the white edge. Okay. I hope you guys like that. Let me move this and we'll do the next one. The next one's a little, a little weird. Okay. You guys, I hope you like it. I like it. And it didn't end up exactly looking like how I wanted it to look, but I like the way it looked. Does that make sense? So I keep thinking about our owl and how he needs to be at night. They're nocturnal. So I wanted a sunset. We have been having some uh, amazing uh, sunsets here. And so I was had sunset on the brain. And then I was like, what if we used the ray of light? Is that what it's called? Ray of light? Where do I have it? Yeah, yeah. Rays of light. 
and emboss it after we ink. So that's what we're gonna do, okay? I, th I like it, but in my mind, it looks different. <laughs> Has that ever happened to you? All right, let's get, let's bring back that grid paper. Mac, you don't need to come in here, buddy. There's no, there's no food in here. He's just staring at me. Let me in, let me in. Okay, we're gonna do Mango Melody. I love Mango Melody. I've been using it a lot lately. Pumpkin Pie, Orchid Oasis, and Starry Sky. Now we're gonna use blending brushes again. And this is when you're gonna really like use your muscles. We're using full or big blending brushes, but on the next project, I'm gonna show you our new small blending brushes, which are super cute. Um, when I made the video yesterday, I was thinking that my ink pads were not juicy enough. So it was taking me quite some time. So hopefully today it's not gonna take me that much time. So we're gonna take Mango Melody and I'm just gonna start on the bottom, okay? And I kinda like to do this rainbow, you know, this rainbow motion. Like, whoop, oh no, did you see what I did? I stopped and I left a big blob. All right, that's all right. We'll make it work. We will fix it. If anything, we'll put our owl right over it. Okay, my arm is already tired. Each time you do this, it's gonna look different. And I will say that if you, when you let the colors marinate, let it sit for five or 10 minutes, it'll look different than it did when you stopped. I don't know why, they just all kind of marinate together. All right, now here's where things get crazy. Orchid Oasis, right? And I'm just gonna kind of start like this, kind of windshield wipering. That's a verb, windshield wipering, swishing, swish, swish, swish. And then I'm really gonna go for it and just start adding it in. Oh, my arm is already super tired. I know so far it looks bad. It doesn't look good, right? You're like, ugh, promise. It's gonna all look good. So I'm going back with pumpkin pie. Try to blend some of that. Oh. Man, let me take a break and look at comments because my arm hurts. Hi, Twyla, nice to see you. Um, hi, Lois. It takes a long time to find my Facebook Lives. That's weird. You should bookmark my page and then you should be able to find it right away. <sighs> Carrie says, I've never been to Texas, but I would move there if Joanna and Chip Gaines did my, Joanna and Chip Gaines did my house. So. Um, my daughter lives in Waco. She goes to school there and she works in an art gallery. And did I tell you guys this story? I think I did. Um, recently Joanna Gaines was using, now I'm going with Starry Sky up at the top, um, was using her gallery to photograph her rugs. And so Ellie was there when she came in and she said that she was nice, but she didn't really talk to her because she was super busy. <laughs> But we're big fans too, yes. We are big fans. And have if you ever come to Texas, you have to go through Waco. So you can go to the Magnolia Silos. It's like a huge complex now. It's just tons of little stores. It's, it's really fun. All right, so at some point you gotta decide when enough is enough, right? So I never feel like I'm done. And I'm not real happy with that section there. So let's just add in some more Orchid Oasis. And I'm gonna take one more time, pumpkin pie and blend. And I think we're done. We're done because my arm is like, stop, <laughs> you're killing me. Okay, now it looks weird. I agree. I feel like that's kind of a muddy mess, don't worry. Let it marinate, let it sit. Did I make a mess of my hands? Not too bad. All right, let it sit, let it be, and we will do some more owl coloring while we wait. Did you guys watch the, um, you know, Chip and Joanna have their own network now, Magnolia Network, and they restored a castle there in Waco, and I, it was like a six-part series, and uh, 
even my husband was interested in it. We watched it recently. It's really interesting. I went to school in Waco too, so it's fun to see all the local things that I remember from back in the day. We were actually at Baylor at the same time, Chip and I, but I did not know him. All right, light smoky slate. One thing I was gonna say about these owls, I have seen them colored in every color imaginable. So don't feel like you have to stick with neutral colors. For me, I just, I wanted to do neutrals. I wanted my owls to be realistic colors. But I have seen some crazy cute projects where people are coloring them like purple and blues and oranges. So, you know, feel free to just go crazy. I saw one just a little while ago. Where did I see it? I must have been on Facebook. And she had added these beautiful little details like around the eye. You know how owls have that like, you know, that those circles around their eyes. And it looked like feathers. It was beautiful. This is going to be a very popular set. You're going to see it all over the place. So you'll have tons of ideas. Anytime something is free, you'll see lots of ideas because lots of people get it. All right, so ears, smoky slate again. Now let's do pumpkin pie. Kimberly, you know what? Um, I'm not a big fan of the silos either. And part of the reason is because it's so dang crowded. I have been going there since that very first store opened and I have never been there when it wasn't just wall-to-wall -wall people. And I don't like crowds. So, you know, that turns me off. Um, if I could go and it be normal, like not crowded like that, then I would probably like it a little bit more. We took my mom up there and when was that? Maybe October, she hadn't been. And uh, she liked it. I just, I don't know. I just, you know, when there's just so many people you can't really, she has a furniture store there now. And then she has a bunch of little tiny boutique stores where she has, I guess, different people come in and do their, their little businesses, which is nice. Um, they have food trucks, which I like. <laughs> I do like the food trucks. Um, and they like have food trucks that have like fun drinks and I mean like, you know, flavored lemonades and stuff like that. So I do like all of that. But, in, you know, it's funny. When I was in Waco, which was in the late 90s, Waco was just a dumpy little central Texas town. It was not what it is now. It is unrecognizable now to anybody who was there in the 90s. Um, the fanciest restaurant, well, I wouldn't say the fanciest, but one of the best and only restaurants we had was Chili's. <laughs> and, I mean, that was about it. And now there's a lot of things that you can eat there. There's all kinds of foodie places. I took my daughter somewhere really nice the last time I was there. So they, Chip and Joanna have changed Waco for, you know, for the best. Um, really, really have transformed that entire community. All right, I'm just continuing to do some fussy cutting. Do, 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 do. You know, sometimes Stampin' Up! comes out with dyes midway through celebration i really hope that they do this time i have heard nothing don't say erica said because i literally know nothing i'm just like oh maybe they will maybe 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 i need some taco dyes <laughs> for one and some owl dyes would be nice too all right while we before we put this together i have cut two clouds all right, using the basic border dies. Where did I put my grid paper? Do you guys see it? Okay, here it is. And I'm gonna just practice making sure that I stamp this straight. We need dies for the owls for sure. Yes, you remember when they brought out the dies for the little pigs and there was all these little accessory dies that went with it? Oh, I loved it so much. Our owls could use that. And what else did they do? Um, Hippos, the hippos, remember? Okay, the reason I'm stamping this on grid paper is just to see how straight 
it the stamp stamps does that make sense because sometimes I need to like dip down a little bit or dip up a little bit so I like to practice okay let's bring back our sunset see how it just I don't know it marinates everything kind of smooths out if you will and got my stamparatus and my um, rays of light stamp. Now, this paper is smaller than the stamp. So we've got to make sure that we get it within the right grid space. Because yesterday I did it and it was over. So let me see, make sure. I mean, there's a better way to do this. But I should have left the paper big and then cut it down after I stamped it but I did not. I put a little bit of adhesive on it because our magnets, okay, I think that's good. Our magnets can't hold it because it's smaller than the stamp. Now you wanna use your embossing buddy really, really, really well here because this whole piece is covered in ink. And so our embossing powder is gonna be confused. It's gonna be like, what, you know, like I know that's not the ink I stick to, but I kind of feel like I need to stick there. So <laughs> use your embossing buddy really, really well. The good news is, is that we are covering a lot of area with embossing powder and it's clear. So if those little embossing granules stick where they're not supposed to stick, you won't really be able to tell. And notice how the stamp is kind of um, it's distressed. It's not solid. That also kind of gives you some room to not be perfect because it, it's not gonna be perfect. Now I'm gonna stamp this Versamark a couple of times because I wanna make sure I get enough on there. I'm just kind of layering it on there on top of that ink. Okay, now I think we're ready. We're gonna take our clear. Come on, come on. We're gonna take our clear embossing powder. Let me move this over here. And where's my clear embossing powder? It was right here. Oh, here it is. Okay. And we're going to just take this, put this in here. This is the embossing, what do they call it? Access, no, additions toolkit. Shouldn't it be the accessory toolkit? Again, they didn't ask me. They never ask my opinion before they name things. <laughs> um, I can't remember the name, so that's why I say that. Um, so we're going to cover it with clear. Oh, and I'm going to try to get it. There we go. Boop, 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 boop. And there we have it. Now you can see it's kind of sticking there in the sun, in the center. I'm not even going to worry about it because it's gonna, that part's going to be covered by our little owl. And another thing, now you really can't see um, any of those imperfections with our blending, right? You can't see like that hard blob I did. So now you're gonna have to take some time and I'm gonna have to use this and just let it do what it does. So this little, I'm just calling this the sunset technique. I don't know if that's really what it's called because I just kind of made it up in my mind. <laughs> But you could do this, you know, sunsets, there's different colors of sunsets. During December, we did one that was more pink, but you could do this really with any colors. All right. All right. Doesn't that look cool? I think it looks pretty cool. You guys see that? Okay, now let's bring back those clouds. And I think this one, is a little bit too tall. So I'm gonna cut off a little bit of that so that we, I want it to, I want you to be able to see some of that orange. And if this cloud is too high, you won't be able to see it. So let's cut off some of that. And we're just gonna put this one on flat with stamp and seal. Like that, and then here's the one where we stamped the words, you are my happy. I didn't even tell you what that was from. 
That is from Happy Labels. It's another new stamp set, right? Happy Labels is from the spring catalog. <laughs> I just found it in my stamps up there. I don't know. I don't ever remember using it and I liked it. All right, now this one, oh, I may have done those too low. We need it to go a little bit lower than, see how I, I, I cut them too big, too tall. So they needed to be a little bit skinnier, but that's okay. We'll just trim it off to match the bottom. That basic white piece that I started with was five by three and three fourths. Okay, now, did we lose the owl? No, there he is. And we're just gonna take him or her and she's just gonna be kind of flying in between the clouds. All right, and last but not least, here's that, that die that I used for the clouds. This is from the basic border dies. I love those dies. And now we're just gonna put her or him on a basic white card base and we're done. No embellishments. Our clear embossing powder is our embellishment. All right, so what do you guys think? Be nice. <laughs> it's a little weird out of my normal thing that I do, but I do like it. I don't know, if you don't like it, don't tell me. <laughs> okay, I've got one more and I love the next one. The next one's definitely my favorite. All right, let me clean up just a bit and I'll grab that one. We're gonna need the cut and emboss machine. No, no, we're gonna need the Simply Stored also. All right, thank you. Oh, it's a wow card. That's a nice compliment. Thank you. Yeah, Carrie, I first when I was when I was making, I was like, yeah, this is going in the trash. But then I finished it and I was like, well, maybe not. I like it. All right, I've got one 3D project for you, you guys. I searched high and low for something owl related. And on Amazon, I don't know if they sell these in the store. I feel like I've seen them in the store. Look, I found these awake caffeinated chocolates. Yeah, caffeinated chocolate. One bite equals half a cup of coffee. So instead of having your cup of coffee, you can have two chocolates. I don't like coffee at all, so this, that gets me excited. <laughs> okay, so it comes, we've got dark chocolate, we've got peanut butter, we've got caramel, and there's another one which is milk chocolate. I've tasted them and they are delish, delish. Um, have you guys seen these before? Um, of course, I linked them for you. Got them on Amazon, as always. Um, you can find them on today's blog post. All right, let's make our box first. I just dropped the stamp right on the paper. You're gonna need, these measurements are on the second sheet right here. This is an eight and a half by four and three fourths piece of Calypso Coral. We're gonna score the long side at half an inch, four inches, four and a half inches, and eight inches. Then you're gonna turn it, I've got embossing powder all over me. Then you're gonna score it at half and at one and four and a fourth, okay? Don't worry, it's on PDF if you didn't write it down. All right, hi Lisa. Um, yeah, those chocolates are yum for sure. Um, I'm, I'm trying to read comments and do this at the same time. Yeah, I was having a hard time finding these or finding something to use. And I don't know how I ended up on those because they're not, they don't say owl in the name, but they're cute. Okay, burnish your lines with your bone folder. Now, on the ends, we've got half inch, right? So it's the same on either end. So it doesn't matter where you start. But on the long side, we've got the, this um, top side has two half inch sections. That's your top. And then this is the bottom. All right, so down on the bottom, I'm gonna start by cutting off that square. And I'm gonna cut that at an angle. Then I'm gonna do the same thing over here and I'm gonna cut both of these off, okay? All right, now down here, you wanna snip, snip, and snip. 
And now, okay, let me think of what I'm gonna do. Hold on, I always have to eyeball it. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, come back. We're gonna cut these two off right here. I'm gonna get my bigger scissors for this. What is this? Something on my scissors. Okay, so stop right there at those little squares. Like that. All right. Now, cut off this square right here. And when you do, cut all the way down so that this guy is a little flap. And then over here, we're going to do the same thing. Cut all the way down. Cut the top one off. And the last thing you need to do is cut off the corners. Now, if that was confusing to you, I'll set it down so you can see what it looks like. Also, there's that clean recording over there on YouTube that you can go watch and slow it down, pause it, whatever you want, okay? Um, I'm just gonna use stamp and seal because it's easy. I'm gonna put adhesive there on that end tab that we cut and I'm gonna fold that over like that. And then I'm gonna take these and fold these little guys in. Oh, that one I didn't cut very well. Let's try that again. I like to do the sides first and then the back. And I think we are gonna have to use some tear and tape because my adhesive is too wide for that. Get some tear and tape right there. And no, try again. All right, tell me new shows. I know that we always talk about shows. Has anybody discovered anything good that you're watching? We need something new. We finished that nasty White Lotus show. <laughs> I do not recommend it. It was gross. It was, I mean, yeah, it was good, but it was gross. And I felt dirty watching it. Okay. <laughs> Um, this fits too. Do you ever do that? You watch a show and you're like, after it's done, you're like, I totally should not watch that. Ugh. That's how I felt about both seasons. Yes. I watched both seasons. Oh yeah. 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 All right. We've got some dandy designs. Emily in Paris. Carrie, I've got that on my list for me. I don't think my husband would like that, but I keep hearing people talk about that one. Glass onion. Nancy, we did see that and we liked that a lot. Willow on Disney. Heather, I have not heard of that one. Reacher Sunday, we've watched Reacher. Wednesday, yes, Wednesday we loved. Uh, well, I wouldn't say loved, we liked. My kids were obsessed with it, so they made us watch it and we liked it. All right, Dandy Designs. Now, we fussy cut the first two little owls. We're not gonna fussy cut anymore. The Chosen, P Penny, you know what? That's actually what we talked about. After watching this last show, we feel like we need to watch something much better for us and the chosen is actually what we talked about somebody else told me about a show and when i say the name it's going to sound hypocritical after i just said the chosen but it's called killers i think and it's about um people in the 70s 80s who thought hitler was still alive in south america and um they were hunting him have you guys heard of this that was like a real thing um I heard they interviewed somebody this week on the Today Show or something, um, and I thought that sounded interesting. I don't know what channel it comes on. I don't know if it's good. I don't know. Just the premise sounded good. Um, okay, this time for this owl, I am using my Natural Tones Stampin' Blends number 500. This is one of those, like, skin tone stamps or uh, inks. And when you look online, they don't have the numbers. So this one just says 500. And then online, they don't say numbers. They say medium or light. So I guessed. And I think it was whichever one I put on the supply list, which is medium combo. Like, they need to coordinate that. Because how am I supposed to know which ones are in the medium and which ones are in the dark and which ones are in the light? You know what I'm saying? I found that very confusing. All right, crumb cake. All the way around. This is our birthday owl. He's very cute. And these, again, would be cute little treats to make, keep in your desk at work and hand them to 
whoever's birthday it is. And you can act like you knew it was their birthday and you made it for them. But warn them that it has caffeine in it. Because I know some people don't do caffeine. So that, that may be an issue. <laughs> Make sure they know. All right. I'm using Calypso Coral this time for his beak and his feet. And I'm going to do some stripes on his little birthday hat. Different color. Calypso Coral Dark and Light. And then I put a few little dots there on the, the little poof. All right, this time we're gonna use Night of Navy Light for his eyes because that's the color we're using for ribbon end, the, the scallop circle. Now this one, you really wanna get your basic black Stampin' Write marker for those pupils because that blue is so dark, it really does, um, those pupils really do fade away. It makes a huge difference. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it really does make a huge difference. All right, one last little wink of Stella, like that. Now, let me introduce you to the new mini blending brushes. These are the big ones, and these are the minis. Aren't they cute? They are easier to handle, I think. Now, with what, what we just did with this, you definitely would want the big ones, but for little small jobs, these are really good. Um, what we just did over there with that other card, like really, that was a lot of muscle. <laughs> but this, you don't, I don't feel like that when I use these. They're um, easier to hold, easier to use. I'm just going to add a little bit of Night of Navy around the edge. Just kind of a little bit. Oh, that may be in too much. Just smooth it around like that. I don't like that right there. Let's see, can I blend it out? Maybe, yeah, that looks a little bit better. Okay. Mm, no, it doesn't. All right, well, whatever, gotta leave it. Um, anyways, check them out. They're in the new um, spring catalog, but there's also this, which is a blending brush holder, and it will hold both sizes. All right, so if you don't have a holder for your blending brush, check it out. It's in the spring catalog. It's very cute. It comes assembled. You don't have to do anything fancy to it. All right, let's put this guy on our Night of Navy scallop, scallop circle. And we'll stamp our sentiment and Calypso Coral. Can I get it straight? Place your bets now. <laughs> let's see. Not at all. Let's try it again. That's why cardstock has two sides. And okay. All right. That's good enough. That's a little bit better. Um, I am going to trim it down because it's too wide. Let's do a little bit more. There we go. And then I'm just going to go kind of like a boop over to the side. And I'm going to shorten it a bit too. And we need some mini dimensionals. Ouch. Oh, I just paper cut myself. And let's put it on the back. Right? Is that it? Oh, yeah. That doesn't look like it. It didn't look like that was an, at an angle. It's your day. This sentiment is from the owl. It's still too wide. It's covering up too much of our owl. Really, you just need about a quarter of an inch. There, that's better. And then... How about a little tiny baby Calypso Coral heart? This is the same hearts I used for my avocado pits on that project. I can't remember which one it was. They're from Give It A Whirl. The Give It A Whirl dies a teeny tiny heart. All right, last thing is the Knight of Navy ribbon. This is the new Knight of Navy, <laughs> Knight of Navy bordered ribbon. I like it. All right, we're just going to tie that around, keep our little box. Ooh, I wasted too much ribbon. Hold on. Boop. Make it a little bit shorter. Like that. And get your bow perfect. Snip, 
snip. Okay, a couple of dimensionals, and there you go. Let's move that up a little bit. He's cute, and I love those colors together, Calypso Coral and Night of Navy. Very cute. We need to add some Wink of Stella to this as well. There we go. Now I've got three ready-to-go treats for birthday people, right? Ready to go. Okay, now I have a couple other cards to show you. Um, this one was a swap card from my downline, Nathan. Nathan is a really great stamper, and uh, he's on my team. This was our team swap. And look, he put those little polka dots on the inside. Isn't it adorable? He put lots of layers. It feels, it feels nice and like thick. Very cute. Very cute. Um, and then I have this one that'll be on my blog on Monday. I used the Aspen Tree dies again and just cut them skinny to put that little owl right there. That's all I have. I didn't get very many owl um, swap cards. I'm surprised. I did a bunch of swaps to get some samples and the most used, can you guys guess what the most used stamp set in the swap was? And like by far, this, the, the one stamp set I got the most samples of, can you guess? Let's, let's, t let's hear your guesses because you're not gonna get it right. Let me see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold you here until you give me some guesses and then I'm gonna show you. I'm looking for it in the catalog. While you tell me your guesses, I don't know what page it's on. Hold on, I gotta find it. Do, 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 page, okay. Let me see what your guesses are. Um, Love Cats, nope. Um, Taco, nope. Kimberly, I only got one of that one. Bayside, Nancy, that one came in probably second. I did get a lot of that. No Taco Fiesta, nope. Um, milkshake, nope, nope. Not mine either, nope. Two-tone flora? Nope. Okay, I'm going to tell you guys. This Sentimental Park Suite. Like, 50% of the swaps I got use this. Isn't that funny? I'm like, whoa, okay. The, you know, this isn't on in my top 10. I don't not like it, but it just wasn't really on my radar. But apparently I'm the only one. Comes, you can get the punch to go with these. And then this one has the whole set of dies to go with that. It does have a bunch of really great sayings. What do you guys think of that? Is it on your top 10 list? Queen bee and farm animals. No, I didn't get any farm animals, Marsha. And you know what? That's what we're doing next week, the farm animals, because it's so cute. If you don't think you need the farm animal set, you just wait. Sweet citrus, that one's a good one too. I'm not that one. Motorcycle only got one of those because that's a hard one. It's got a lot of pieces. Nobody wants to make swap cards with that. <laughs> I wish I, I wish they would. I know, right? I never would have guessed it. Cynthia, I, I agree. We have a lot of flowers. We have a lot. I like flowers, but I got a lot of flowers. <laughs> Less, I know. I know. I know, Ashley. I know. Isn't that funny? I mean, I have a stack of samples like this big, like huge stuff. I just thought it was bizarre. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, a little trivia. Okay, you guys, thanks for joining me today. I hope you had fun. Um, if you would like these make and takes, all you have to do is put in an online order by Monday at midnight, order anything you want, as long as it's $35. But hey, during celebration, don't leave money on the table. <laughs> If you have a $35 order, bump it to 50 so you get something for free from the celebration catalog, okay? Um, and ho use the host code, and I will cut them on Tuesday, ship them on Wednesday. All right, you guys? Have a wonderful weekend. I love Queen Bee, too. You guys will be using it. I haven't decided if I'm going to do that class club or Facebook Friday. I love it so much, the Queen Bee set. All right, you guys have a great weekend. I'll see you next Friday. Bye.